Unbelievable. <sighs> Why, thank you. <laughs> you weren't too bad yourself. That is not what I meant. <sighs> There's nothing to be embarrassed about. <sighs> I can't believe I ended up in bed with you. What the hell is wrong with me? Take my word for it, Liza. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you. You are fantastic. Inside and out of bed. After what, 14 years of foreplay? <sighs> I gotta tell you, that was definitely worth it. <laughs> Come on, Liza. It's okay to admit it. We're fantastic together horizontally. I can't wait to see what we can accomplish vertically. <sighs> I really thought I made myself very clear that I don't want to have anything to do with you in any direction. Wow, that's pretty interesting, considering I just enjoyed you in both directions over the last 20 minutes or so. Yeah, well, I, you know I plead temporary insanity. Oh, come on, you knew exactly what you were doing. Which I regret. So if you say anything... Ooh, threats. I like where this is going. My reputation is bad enough as it is. Yeah, you know something, you're right about that. I mean, sleeping with me right after betting your daughter's... Uh do not go there. You do remember that I'm the one who got you that DA job, don't you? Yes, because you keep reminding me. And I was also the one who helped you keep that job after Colby aired your dirty laundry online, right? So what, what are you saying, that I owe you? What do you think? What do you really want, David? What are you after this time? Well, this was certainly a good start. Seriously. I want my life back. That's not too much to ask now, is it? Well, I guess it just uh, depends on what part of your life. You want to be a doctor again? You want to be married to Greenlee? All I really want is to practice medicine. And I know what I'm doing. So do I. And this? Huh. This isn't it. In other words, whatever just happened here didn't. Got it. I just want to ask you, why do you keep showing up here? I guess it's kind of hard to stay away from a place that's always felt like home. Well, it is not your home anymore. I heard you were discharged. I hope there's nothing wrong with your baby. My baby just has a little colic, but she'll be fine. That's wonderful. She certainly is a miracle child. Yes, yeah, she is. Kind of makes you wonder if there might be another miracle in store. This time for her mother. What are you talking about? possibility of you seeing again. I don't appreciate your sense of humor. This is no joke. Now, you might not like me, but you have to admit that I have pulled off some of my own miracles in my time, right? I mean, against all odds, I, I kept Greenlee alive. I helped her walk again. I even pulled Kendall from the grave. Now, giving you back your sight... Get I, out of my way, Okay, well, just, 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 just hear me out, okay? I have done extensive research on your diagnosis, Angie. Now, I'm sure you have, too. You've probably talked to the top specialists in the country. But the difference between you and I is that we follow a different set of codes. Now, you may have your, your fine, upstanding reputation, but therefore, people wouldn't come to you with certain experimental, fringe ideas. Now, a person with my reputation, well, people aren't expecting me to follow the rules, FDA or otherwise. And there's a hell of a lot more going on out there than you'll find published in journals. 
I can give it to you, Angie. So what do you say? What do I say? I tell you what I say. Take away your sight the way you took away mine. Gouge your eyes out right here and right now, and then we'll talk miracles. I never wanted you to go blind. I warned you your budget cuts would put people at risk. Specialists on call? Who needs them? Sterile gloves? Enough personnel to keep them in stock? Forget that. Right, look, if I could go back... You what? can't! You can't. And I'm not sure you would do one single thing differently. Because you're not a good person, David. So stop pretending you want to be my miracle well, worker. Maybe that's why I want to help. Did you ever think of that? Maybe I feel terrible about the whole situation. Very slick, but I'm not buying. I know that my blindness has no cure. I never thought in a million years that I would hear Angie Hubbard being a defeatist. And what if you're wrong? I have accepted where I am in life. And I am doing just fine. I'm offering you a hell of a lot better than doing just fine. Just get out of my way, David. Hush. Why, Angie? Just, just forget for a moment that it's me making this offer. Don't you want to stop imagining what she looks like and see your daughter's face for yourself? All you care about is practicing medicine at this hospital again. I haven't kept that fact hidden from anyone. But you need people on your side to testify for you. Prove to the board that you're an asset to the medical community you, and to this you hospital. Know something? None of this matters right now. You know why? Because eventually I'm going to get that support. Well, not from me, David. I wouldn't let you treat my eyelash, never mind my eyes. I don't want your help. I don't want anything from you. Try to imagine the moment, Angie. You try to imagine that moment when you actually see your daughter's face for the first time. Now, what if I could make that happen? Because of your anger, you wouldn't even give me a chance. Now, I think even you would have to admit that would be a shame. <laughs>